what you're about to see is almost something right out of the Old Testament. But do understand, this is the year 2017. You have Hare Krishnas pulling these big carts that you see behind me. They call them chariots. And uh, they're not using mules or any type of livestock only because they believe in reincarnation and they'll have to come back as an animal and, uh, and have to be working in the field. So they don't do that. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to rebuke them because of all of the idolatry inside of these parade, inside of these floats. So they are breaking commandment number one and two. After they pass by us, we will follow behind them and expose this sin of uh, Hare Krishna to everybody on the beach and, and rebuke the people watching the parade. Why aren't they standing up for God when you see this idolatry go by? And so this is what you're going to be seeing. And something tells me there'll probably be some homos because they always pop up here and there and they'll try to disrupt us. They'll try to do something to shut down the preaching. It always happens. Venice Beach, a lot of sin, smoking dope, getting drunk, getting high. You got to have sodomy. So we're expecting them to give us some problems as well. But uh, we're working well with LAPD. And uh, at the end of the day, no arrests. The gospel was preached. God's standard was echoed. And uh, we thank you for your prayers. Uh, you need to obey God. Get God into your heart. Not this Krishna God. Not a phony God. Idols going by. These idols have eyes but cannot see one thing. These idols have ears but cannot see one thing. These idols have eyes but never can see anything. Obey the God of the Bible. Heaven or hell when you die. Your life is but a vapor and then you meet God and then what happens? You die. You meet this God. Not Krishna, not reincarnation, not even purgatory. You're going to die and go to heaven. You're going to die, you're going to hell. Nothing complicated. Even a Hare Krishna can understand. Time to obey the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Time to get serious about the God of the Bible. Who died for you. Who bled for you. Who rose from the dead for you. Who's coming back one day. Most likely not even for you. You believe the lie. You want to see the fruit of this religion, people? Go to India. Those kids are dying of starvation. Those kids are would rather die. Parents would rather feed a cow than those children. Parents would rather feed a rat than those children. And yet they have the gall to come here to Venice Beach and try to give you people food. You want to see the fruit of this religion? Not complicated. A lot of people here, they come to this chariot and uh, they, they think that the God is out there. And uh, there's a pujari. Pujari means a priest. And then uh, pujari is going to give something that's offered to the idols. And uh, when people take that one, they think they think that they will be blessed. And that's uh, that's called in in their in uh, in the Hindu language. It's a prasad. That means a food offered to the idols. They think that if they take that one, there's something good will happen to them. And pujari, they will take a kind of a bowl or something like that, and then put it on their head, and then then say that okay, you're blessed. Now if they do that, they think that they're blessed. So that's the concept right here. They think that that's holy, and we all know that that's not. And no. Not Krishna, not Rama, not 
any other fake Hindu toy god. Jesus Christ came into this world, loved you so much, he died for you. He gave his life for you. Krishna did not die for me. Rama did not die for me. Isha did not die for me. They were all dead and they are still dead. Jesus Christ rose again from the dead. He is alive. God of the Bible. Bible says in John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one. No one goes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God Himself. Hindus, you, even though you have some education, you have some professionals in this country, but you can't even think for yourself. You are so stupid, superstitious, just like that man walking with that. Right? Has no clue. Why are you so judgmental? No clue as to what they are doing. Believe in the God of the Bible, young lady. Believe in God of the Bible. You may die tonight. Okay, Hindus do not even know whether they go to heaven or not. Because of this wicked reincarnation concept. Oh, oh how can if you do something bad, you become a dog in your next life? Or a mosquito in your next life? What kind of a good does a dog know to do good? Any idea? You don't even know what you're talking about. That's Hinduism. Reincarnation is what they believe in. This, in this life, I have an identity and then you have an identity. You don't even know when you die as to where you will go. Right? I know. I, I will go back to my Creator God. Jesus Christ lived the earth. Jesus Christ died for me. He died for you. He died for the whole world. We're here, as you know, in uh, Venice Beach, preaching at the Hare Krishna Parade. And I know what you see on video, and maybe what some of our critics will say, will say, where's the fruit, uh, Brother Reuben? How come nobody ever gets saved? How come you never uh, encourage people? Well, let me tell you, once again, you're wrong. Don't judge by appearance. Here's Brother George. He's been hanging around with us for a good portion of the day. He's been defending, contending for the faith, He's here on vacation. This man, what he saw, has changed his life. As a matter of fact, he's asking now to get baptized. He wants to get baptized. He wants to wear one of our shirts. And so uh, uh, I'm going to let George give you a little testimony uh, for himself as to what we do and why we do what we do. George? Hi, my name is George Lysak. I'm from Long Island, New York. And I used to live here in Venice, uh, in Santa Monica, and I've seen this many times. And Today I was standing there and I was watching what was going on and I'm a believer in God and I believe that he will repair any soul and any heart and I don't believe what these other people believe and, and that's why I will represent him until the day I go. Thank you. Amen. So I do encourage you to pray for George that God moves him, gives him boldness and, uh, and he serves our Father. Uh, because we only have one chance this side of heaven. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it, brother.